Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial uh, for MCreator. Uh, today we're going to be continuing the section uh, part 2 of the uh, Custom Crops 2.0 and uh, I'll link down to the previous videos uh, for the tutorials in the description so you guys can follow along. Uh, today we're going to be working on our first procedure system uh, regarding the seeds. So this is going to be pretty much the easiest one to set up um, just because it's pretty straightforward and uh, there's not a lot of code that actually needs to go into it. Um, the easiest way to actually create a procedure is just to go to the, the item that you're wanting the procedure for and then going to the, the procedures tab then clicking on the little plus sign of which what you, you want. Uh, we're going to use when right clicked on block location hand and we're just going to create the procedure. So what we need to do is um, grab an if statement from logic and loops. We're actually going to need two of these. So we're going to duplicate the other one. And the next thing that we need to do is test for two things for our first condition. Uh, so we're going to go to logic operators and we're going to grab this light blue operator and then we're gonna go and, and then what we need to do, I'm just gonna go like that so it's a little easier to code it. Um, what we need to do is go to uh, logic operators. We're gonna need one block operator with one equal sign, that's gonna go on the top, and the other logic operator is gonna have two equal signs, and that's gonna go on the bottom. So the next thing that we need to do is go to block and get block at, and we're going to need to place this one at uh, the top with the one equal sign on the uh, right hand slot. And then we're going to also need the same procedure on the left hand one of the double equal sign. So now that we have that in place, we, we need to do is go to Minecraft components and grab a block slot. And we're going to duplicate it and put it in the equal sign one below as well. So once you have done that, uh, we need to test for two things, uh, two vanilla type of blocks. The first one that we're going to need to test for is the farmland that we're going to be right clicking on. So if there's farmland below, basically what this is going to be doing is it's going to test for wet and dry farmland as this is the procedure type that you need in order to test for multiple blocks of that same ID. So if you were to use this procedure down below for the same thing, it's just going to test for dry farmland rather than testing for wet and dry farmland. So if you were to try placing it on wet farmland with this setup uh, below, it's going to just only uh, place it on dry farmland. So that's not going to work this way, but it will work this way. Um, now for the other one, what you need to do is select air and I'll explain why we're gonna be doing that in just a second. Um, for the Y axis, what we need to do is go to math and then we need this operator here and we're also gonna need a number and we're gonna go plus one and then we're gonna go Y plus one and then we're gonna go like that. So what this is going to do is test for the block above the farmland, uh, one block above, um, if there's air there so basically what's going to happen is the when you right click it's going to see if there's farmland in that place and if there's air above it. So if you right click on say a block that has uh, say potatoes or something else on the farmland it's not going to override that thing and just destroy that crop and completely remove it from the existence of the game. It's just going to um, test to see if there's air, and if there is air above in that slot where the potatoes or something would have been, then it's if there is something there, then it's not going to place anything. But if there's air there, then it will. All right. So the next thing that we need to do is actually test for something else uh, beforehand. Um, what we're going to do is go to place. We're just going to place a block because this is what we need to do. And we're going to just copy the 
y plus one and we're going to remove the y here and delete that and then just replace that so basically we're going to be placing the first stage of our block on the uh, so this is our first stage here um, where the air is so if there's air there then it's going to place the block for our first stage of our crop uh, right we're in that right in that spot there so that makes sure that it doesn't override anything. So the next thing that we need to do is you're probably wondering what this if statement's for and that is for um, basically our seed removing uh, procedure. Uh, we wanna make a condition where we're gonna be testing if the player is not in creative. So if the player is in creative, we don't want to actually remove any seeds because Minecraft doesn't is coded where creative just keeps the seeds in the inventory if you're right clicking. So we're going to have that same feature. It's just we need to program it in a little bit. So if we go to player uh, procedures and scroll down, there's a slot here that says is player in creative. Now, if you were just to do that, then it's going to basically remove it just for creative players. We don't want that, so what we want to do is go to logic and loops and grab a not statement, and we're going to add that to the if statement, so it's going to go if not player in creative, so it's going to affect any game mode that isn't creative, so any player that isn't in creative. So that's adventure, uh, survival, I think spectator as well, if they were able to have an inventory. So anything that um, isn't creative, basically. So um, what we now need to do is go to player, remove, and then we're gonna select our seeds from the inventory. And basically that's all you need to do. You just need to make sure that um, you've using the right, uh, when right clicked on block procedure and just click next and you have created your procedure for your seeds and uh, yeah that's all there is really to set up for the seeds um, next episode we're going to be working on uh, the block properties there's a few procedures that we need to set up i think the first one we're going to do is set up the tick rates uh, it's a pretty big complicated thing but i'll probably be importing most of it Maybe, I don't know, uh, we'll see about it. Uh, might guide you th uh, like I did with the seeds, but it is a pretty hefty um, procedure system. So I'm most likely gonna be providing the uh, block procedures uh, for you guys to use. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, tutorial. Definitely tune in next week for the next part. Um, we'll be covering all that block stuff. Well, at least one section of it. Uh, there's three sections on the block uh, procedures that we'll have to set up. So we'll be taking one at a time as it'll be probably about the uh, one episode worth. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you liked about the video and um, definitely share it on social media. There's a little share icon at the bottom of the video and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.